Roper and I'm here with another story behind the Sega Boza just for you. Today we're going to be talking about Amazulu's miraculous escape from the NFD, possibly the quickest bounce back from the NFD in recent history by virtue of the fact that they are allegedly purchasing the PSL status from Mpumalanga Black Aces. It's a precedent we've seen set before by Amazulu themselves. If you rewind to the 2006-2007 season, they also bought themselves back into the PSL. And right now, it seems if you're an Amazulu fan, you never have to worry about relegation. Because should you go down, they'll simply fork out millions and millions and millions and get themselves back in. Whether it's legal or not is still up in the air. Um, and no doubt there'll be a lot of debates um, in the public sector as to whether or not Amazulu should be able to do this. What is clear though is that this can't be good for South African soccer. The other question that's come up is where is the 82 million actually coming from? Because if they had 82 million to spend, why not spend it on players to stop the club from going down in the first place? Allegedly, we are starting to see local governments get involved in PSL teams all over South Africa. Allegedly, it's happening with Chipper. Allegedly, it's happening with Amazulu. Fact of the matter is, it seems that local government wants PSL football in their region. Why? I'm not certain because the stadiums are empty all over the place except for when Kaiser Chiefs and Pirates come to town. Um, it's an interesting one and the money trail we will follow for you. There are going to be many twists and turns to this one in the next couple of days as the story unfolds and unravels. Um, like we said, by Friday we expect it to be officially announced. Um, but until then, make sure you stay glued to www.sokdoduma.co.za for the story as it happens.